Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are going to be designing a handle for my dresser. So, what we are going to do is first, I know that I have the total distance, oop, a line there, the total distance of it is 111.2 millimeters. Okay, well, I accidentally wrote 11.2, so let's write 111.2, and then I'm going to put this midpoint on the origin here okay and now we are going to be making like a an arc basically I, I want um, I know that the total depth is about 26 millimeters so I'm going to draw a construction line from the very corner here down 26 and I'm going to draw an arc from there so we will create an arc a three-point arc, turn off construction line, and then we'll give it there and there. Good. So you see it's tangent here, but it's not tangent here. So I want to make that tangent. So I'm going to make that tangent right there, and then I'm going to hit T for trim and cut that off now. So all we have to do now is mirror that to the other side. So we are going to go to mirror here, select this, and we need a mirror line. I forgot to do that, so let's go and create that. We'll select a line about the midpoint of the of where we are going to mirror. So this is going to be its reference. So we are going to then choose mirror one more time. Select this and then select our mirror line there and press OK. We're going to hit T for trim one more time and cut that off. And then we are going to finish our sketch. Now what we want to do is create an a plane right here. Now the problem is if we construct an offset plane we can select this and we can select to object and there we go. That works for me. So now we can create a sketch right here. There was no problem. <laughs> so we'll create, uh, we'll project the uh, this point right here and press OK. And we're also going to press P one more time and select this as well and project that. And the reason being is I want to write out the dimensions for this handle. As you can see, it is going to be 15.5 by 19.9, or let's say 15.5 by 20. We will select a center point rectangle. And let's say if the handle is oriented like that, we want the long side to be 20 here. So that's 20, and that's 15.5. Okay. Then I'm just going to fill it this a little bit. Here and here, here and here, here and here. Okay. Oh no, I didn't fill it that too. Let's do that one more time. Boom. Enter. All right. Now what I want to do is. I want to bring this part, well, let's get this back centered. I want this to be right over here on top of that. So we're going to draw one more time. We will do that midpoint, or from that midpoint, we're going to draw our mirror line. And then we are going to select mirror. And then I'm just going to, whoop. We are going to select mirror once more. And then I want to mirror this whole object here. And then I'm going to select my mirror line as right here. And I'm going to press OK. Now we are going to finish the sketch. And we are going to create one more sketch right here. And from here, we also need to make the another piece that is 8.3 millimeters by 19.7. So let's say now that we're looking at it in this orientation the 8.3 is going to be the width so this is 19.7 uh, this way by or actually it's the opposite my bad it's going to be 8.3 this way and the 19.7 is the width okay there we go and one more thing we will fill it this as well make it look pretty and there and there press enter and finish the sketch now the last thing that we have to do is loft it 
So we are going to choose loft down here. Select this to this to this. Oh, <laughs> not that point. I want the whole thing. One more time. Let's try lofting here to here to here. Now that's a perfect arc. I like that. However, that's not entirely what we wanted. We want it to follow this center line path here. So we're just going to select that. And there we go. Press OK. Boom. Perfect. And then we're just going to cut out a little piece on each of these for our screws. So right in the center here, we can just find the center point. Let's draw this. We actually can't find the center point on this. So what we're going to do is just draw from here to here. Click X. And then we're going to draw from here to here. And again, clicking X. And then selecting midpoint. And there we go. Perfect. So now we can actually draw our center diameter circle. So we're just going to make this be, well, let's see. What's the standard wood screw size? Let me Google that. And it looks like it's about two millimeters. So we will type in two. And then we're just going to go do the same thing on the other side. Or we could project it but or mirror it. But what we're going to do is just do it out real quick here. We'll finish this sketch, and then we'll sketch on here because we would have needed to project the geometry. But we'll go here to here, and then here to here, and then we will do midpoint. Perfect. All right, and then one last thing that we're going to do is our 2 millimeter hole there and finish the sketch. We just need to extrude those two out. Well, in, I guess it would be the proper way to say it. And we'll go 10 millimeters and press OK and there we have it now all we have to do is print this on our Mantis 3D printer and then I can install it there we go I added an appearance to it and it doesn't look that great not gonna lie the appearance looks kinda weird but let's see does it actually look like what we had made I think so I think that looks almost identical to what we have on the dresser already so thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. And we'll see you in the next video.